The Park County Covered Bridge Festival begins tomorrow and with all its colors, crafts and crowds. But before things got really busy and noisy, News 10 photojournalist John Tim headed to Bridgeton to meet a craftsman whose work gives us one component of life's most basic foods. Work 10 till tired. We're doing around 30,000 pounds a year right now. Stove grinding is slow and gentle. It doesn't build up heat and pressure, so whatever I'm grinding, it retains 100% of its nutrition and its flavor. Pastry flour, bread flour, we got rye flour, oat flour, buckwheat flour, and we also do spelt flour. More and more people want natural foods. All of our products, there's uh, no GMOs, and a lot of it's organics, and one of them is actually certified chemical free. We have like 11 different kinds of cornmeal. The purple corn has been a great seller for us. It's considered a super food. Highest concentration of nutrition and antioxidants of any grain in the world. Not sure what an antioxidant is, but everybody wants them. 1818. The uh, millwrights would follow the creek looking for power. They pick a spot, they start milling, and people start locating near the mill. Thousands and thousands of towns started this way. This mill has been open every year since 1823, and we are the 14th owner. I, I, I work with wood. I build furniture, cabinets, uh, anything wood. I was reading about a mill that had made shutters for over 100 years and it was water powered. And wow, wouldn't that be cool? If I was ever in the area, I'd come stop by and see the old mill. And I saw it for sale in 94. There was a white piece of cardboard nailed to the building and somebody had written a mill for sale on it. So I promised her, I said, Mildred, we're going to save that old mill, restore it, and carry on. And she said, Michael, I want you to have the mill because I know you're going to do good. But then the family wouldn't give me the keys. And I said, what's going on? I said, we're going to teach you how to run that old mill. Three days, they decided I'd be a pretty good miller and gave me the keys. I, I still do a little bit of woodworking on the side, but here I am, like flour and cornmeal. Yeah, you know, I have sometimes people ask me, why don't you dress up, period? I said, well, it's 2015. Miller before me didn't dress up. I'm not dressing up either. I, I love it. How many people get to make flour and cornmeal with a 200-year-old grist mill? I mean, it's just, uh, I couldn't be happier. So many people, they want to help. They love this place. And it's gone from being hung up onto a, a top 20 reason to love Indiana. I'm thinking when I get my water wheel out there, it's going to be the tallest water wheel in Indiana. I'm going to be top 10. He has a great personality. You know, that Bridgeton Mill is, is very famous over there. There are lots of extras of that story on our website, WTHITV.com, including the full interview with Mike Rowe and a photo gallery for you. You can also find other festival stories there. And 